What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, of course, with Mike Lathan Fitness. Mike Lathan Fitness, electrician extraordinaire, gig economy. He is a jack of all trades on everything, and he is my son. And I got Philly 500 who is texting me like crazy because he's in disbelief right now. And I have to say, I am honestly depressed. I'm going to have to look at all you. Look at that. Um, what, what, what do you write about it? What, Philly? No, see, Philly 500 yesterday was the one who, look, he said, I'm really shocked. Wait, what, did that person get something? No, you know, he's like, you, you, they better try and trade him at, you know, the draft. I'm like, there's no trade clause. He's like, if he hits free agency, he's gone. Um, I'm depressed. And I know the haters out there will be saying it because you're just a Dak lover and that you're just mad because he won't be the quarterback of the Cowboys. No, no you know, th what I'm depressed about is this. How many teams have been winning 12 games in a row for three years? Okay. This is not something that happens typically in the NFL. And when teams are winning games like that, that they're getting to the dance and getting high seeds, what most teams would look at is say, we are so close. We are so close to being able to win the Super Bowl. Let's go ahead and go and try and win it. What, doesn't that seem to be what the smart person would be? We are so close. You know what? Let's take some risk and try and get over the hump. Because we've been here three years at the same thing. Close. See, the Eagles, God, I hate you, Eagles. And screw you, Philly. Screw you, Philly 500. They recognize they are close. So let's try to get more pieces. Let's support our quarterback. Let's make sure he has a great offensive line. You know, we'll deal with the ramifications of the cost later on. But getting a quarterback, which they should understand. They should understand after Troy Aikman and going through Randall Cunningham past his prime getting the biggest bust in the history of football in Ryan Leaf in drafting guys like Quincy Carter going for guys like Anthony Wright and Rodney Pete going through and trying to trade for Drew Bledsoe Clint Stoners and um, tons and tons of other guys What uh, Vinny Testaverde of over and over and over again being just in this desert of quarterbacks, okay? You know, where there's none. You're just dying and throw it first, hoping and praying that you could get a quarterback. And after having gone through and seen great players like Jason Witten and Tony Romo and Des Bryant and seeing guys that have been absolute warriors that have given you everything from Travis Frederick who literally had a disease and tried to come back to help these th th this sorry ass Stephen Jones and ma make no mistake about this guys this is Stephen Jones well, Zach Martin might not be here after okay. next year ma ma Zach listen, understand <laughs> for those who uh, listen it is Jerry Jones is 82 years old. He's not running the day by day. This is Stephen Jones. And Stephen Jones is literally getting me to the point where I, I, I hate the way the Cowboys make me feel. I hate the way the Cowboys get me to try and sell hope. That this shit is hopeless. That you literally are close and you won't do the basic things to get over the hump. This shit stinks. To literally, look, look, because see, 
we, we keep wanting to blame. Oh my God, Dak is just greedy. Take a look, good people. Take a good look. Dak's compensation of what he's made over the years, understand, the cap hits. This is the first time. First time he's had a cap hit over $31 million. First time. And it's because the Joneses keep screwing the pooch every single year on contracts and messing up. And instead of fixing the problem, instead of actually getting people who know what the hell they're doing, their cheap asses keep thinking, we can fix the same stupid shit that we've been doing forever. Forever. Instead of going out and getting somebody who knows what the hell they're doing with the cap. And I don't mean any disrespect to the guy that we have that's the assistant to Stephen Jones, who's been with the organization for 20 years. But when you were a trainer for the wait staffs, when you were an assistant volunteer equipment manager, and then you get hired by the Cowboys, and you are the senior director of the cap and contracts with Stephen Jones, who is a chemical engineer, and we don't know if Jerry Jones just paid off the university, bought them a couple of buildings so Stephen Jones could get that position, that, that, that degree that you don't know what you're doing. And if you don't believe me, go back and look at the contract for Marion Barber that was crazy, that they overpaid a running back back then in 2007. Go back and look at the contracts from Jay Ratcliffe. Go back and look at the contracts on Miles Austin after one good year, knowing the guy had hamstring issues that we all saw on, um, what is the show, Shit. Hard knocks from day one. Look at the contracts for D Ware. Look at the contracts of Tony Roma. Look at the contracts of Des Bryant that we constantly have had to redo other ones. Borrow money over and over and over again to keep us in the same hamster wheel of screwed up contracts and messed up. And it's so much easier for them to go ahead and say, it's just Dak Prescott. Instead of actually looking and saying, our office, our house sucks. Our house is dirty and doesn't know what the hell they're doing. You don't have opportunities like this very often. You know how many teams would love to have the situation that the Cowboys have and just say, hey guys, we're close. We are so close. Let's go all in. That's what the Rams did and won a Super Bowl. They had built a good team, but they knew they didn't have enough. So let's go get Matthew Stafford. Let's go get Von Miller. Let's go get Odell Beckham Jr. And let's win a fucking Super Bowl. These jackasses don't give a damn. Mike's like, oh shit, I don't want to be in here. They don't give a damn. And that's what's dis dis so depressing about being a Dallas Cowboy fan. I feel bad because he was around when the, in the 90s. But he didn't, he, like me in my first Super Bowl, I didn't know what football was. I was four years old. It's sad and pathetic how we get treated as fans. And I feel sad for all of those fans out there that have never been able to enjoy when the Cowboys were great. And right now, it just makes me sick. It disgusts me how I feel right now about the Cowboys and this situation. The way Jerry Jones just bullshits us, plays with our emotion, and just screws us over. Just screws us the hell over. I am shocked, I am appalled, and just disgusted. How about you? Don't give a damn anymore, do you? I'm, I'm, I'm shocked this every year. Every they, damn they, they year. They wait till last minute. Last, last time he had his contract because of oh, had that clause. I hope, you know. <laughs> I, go, just want to go down to zero hour. The just, Cowboys have literally gotten to be like 
the movie Get Out. I am literally that guy standing there in front of him in a teardrop crowd, just, just drop, and just hoping that Dak Prescott, that you can get out, man, that you can get out. Maybe Tab was right. Maybe Tab was right. Now, here's the, the <laughs> other situation here. That This is where you actually look at this and say, you know what? Um, let's say you're C.D. Lamb, because we, we know Justin Jefferson, right? Justin Jefferson's like, you know, my quarterback's gone. Now I'm going to have Sam Darnold throwing to me. The hell is that? If you're C.D. Lamb, do you look at this and say, if they do this to Dak and he was an MVP finalist, what, what's, what's the future going to hold? You know what I'm saying? That you look at this and say, do I want to sign here? Yeah, you don't have a choice. I, I mean, but seriously. You don't have a choice. It's either that you get after his fifth year, you only you know you get a fifth year option. And then they can go somewhere else. He had to say another year. Oh, then they can franchise tag him. Okay, so then that's two more years. Well, they, they can't franchise tag both of them, Micah Parsons and CD. But this shit stinks, man. This is just, this is honestly. At this moment, the way I feel, this is the lowest I think I have ever felt about the Cowboys. That you literally have had opportunities to win it all, and you do not take advantage of it. Shit ain't proper. Shit ain't right. Hell with you, Cowboy. The hell with you. Look, Philly 500. You must be pissed. You damn right, Philly. I'm pissed. I am pissed like a. Let, let, let that Prescott go somewhere else and win the Super Bowl. I, you're, you're 100 right, Philly. I am pissed. I, I don't know if I want to scream or if I want to cry. I'd be pissed. Maybe I'd be crying, screaming. I'd be pissed. This is every year. Watch and know they sign the Dak Prescott the past minute and overpay him. Did they trade him to Washington. Oh, shut up, Philly. Well, guess, shut up, well, Philly. Like the, so, so let me ask you: If he goes to Washington, are we for Dak Prescott when he plays against the Cowboys? <laughs> Might as well. Shit, all his friends are in Washington now. I mean, he does. Shit. He does like Dan Quinn. I mean, Dan Quinn. I'll be honest Washington. with you. I, I'll be honest with you. I don't know why Dak Prescott would want to stay here. Why the hell would you want to stay here? I mean, the like fans constantly, you know, call you a choker and threaten you and your family and, you know, are happy that your brother committed suicide and shit. Why would you want to stay here? Why? It's like I'm, I'm actually questioning after 58 years of being a Dallas Cowboy fan, why am I a Cowboy fan? Why? Why do I stay loyal to these fuckers? Oh God, Philly! Just leave me alone. Just let this. no, no. Philly's hoping that he goes in the market so he can pick him up. <laughs> the new flavor of the month. For they, they are the. Oh God. I, I, I literally feel sick right now. I, why? This is the same thing every year. And then people are talking about Dak Prescott getting getting overpaid. The Jones is overpaid on by weight. It's not, it's not, it's not that Prescott fall got overpaid. No, he wasn't overpaid. No, no. No, no, that, that they, they fucked up the contract. No, that's what I'm saying. Because, because right now, look, he's only the, the 14th highest paid quarterback in the NFL. Somehow, guys got $15 million more a year from them, and their cap number is only like $20 million this year. Okay? So, that's not Dak Prescott's fault. It's exactly. their fault because they kept waiting. And if they end up dual signing it again, they've set themselves up again. Because the price right. don't go down. The price don't go down. They're so stupid. They are, they are stupid and we are stupid for supporting these mother humpers. I'm sick, man. 
I am sick. I'll be I'll be happy if that press guy goes somewhere else and get a Super Bowl. Because he ain't going to get one with Dallas. He ain't going to get one with Dallas. I'm about ready to go into the barn up here with the bull. That, that's about how bad I feel right now. Let me go run in the field with the cows. I'm not, I'm not going that far. <sighs> let, let, let that press go somewhere else and win a Super Bowl. Bye, people. I, I, can't, I just can't. <laughs>